In our life too, when we gather together, what is our discussion? Is Christ is attracted by our discussion? Or our discussion attracts Christ in our life? Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers and family members. We are on the third Sunday of Easter and the Gospel of today is taken from St. Luke's Gospel chapter 24 verses 13 to 35. And we see after the resurrection of Jesus, the disciples while they were on the way to Emmaus, Jesus joins them. And it's very important to reflect how they Jesus joined them and what was their discussion and how they ended up their discussion finally. And it is very important in our life too when we gather together what is our discussion. Is Christ is attracted by our discussion or our discussion attracts Christ in our life. There are three reasons why Jesus is attracted and why Jesus joins them for discussion. The first one is Jesus joins for discussion and secondly he explains them and thirdly the disciples recognized him. The first point that we can reflect is the discussion. What was the content or what is the context the disciples were and throughout Jerusalem we see the people were discussing how Jesus died on the cross and some of them were informed that Jesus is risen and this is what the content of the two disciples while they were discussing on the way to the mouse. What kind of discussions we have when we gather together? A graceful or peaceful discussions will attract Christ in our life. Unhealthy discussions will make us go away from Christ. That's what happened in the lives of two disciples. While they were discussing about Christ's resurrection, Jesus comes and joins them. And secondly, we try to reflect on the explanation when Jesus Christ joins them for discussion. And Christ explained how Jesus Christ died on the cross and rose from the dead, taking examples from the scripture. And that's what happens when we discuss about the scripture and the word of God people are attracted at the same time Christ will be attracted and he joins for discussion and this is what happens in everywhere whenever we open the scripture or read the scripture and discuss the scripture third reason why Jesus joins for discussion with the two disciples is recognition when he was at Jerusalem, while he broke the bread and blessed it and gave to his disciples to eat, their eyes were open. And this is what happens in every Holy Eucharist. When we celebrate the liturgy of the Word and liturgy of the Eucharist, we should also open our eyes and deeply reflect on the word of God and surely our hearts also will burn with fire and be moved by the Spirit of God. Then our eyes also will be open. And today let us reflect on our lives when we attend or participate in the Holy Eucharist. These two things are taking place, liturgy of the word and liturgy of the Eucharist. Like the two disciples, let us also burn with fire 
when we read the word of god or listen and also let our eyes be open when we participate in the holy eucharist and let us pray for the grace of god let our discussions and let our holy eucharist when we attend that our eyes may be open and let christ come and join us and today let us pray in a very special way to have a peaceful discussions when we gather together that christ may join us and as we make journey towards holy jerusalem may the christ the redeemer bless each and every one of us amen